Hello everyone, we are going to be talking about the drama surrounding the NHL All-Star Game. Now before we start, please make sure to join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing if you are new. Now let's get to it. So, we all know that with the All-Star Game there has been a lot of backlash lately, and it's just the fact that every team has to have a player represented in the game. The problem with that leads to there's just not as many great players in the game, which is the whole point. That it's supposed to be the best players being there, and it's leading to players getting snubbed, and that is a huge problem. Colorado Avalanche superstar Nathan McKinnon definitely supports that idea or concept when he said this in regards to the event. Quote, it's an all-star game, not a participation game, end quote. And then he later went on to say that there should probably be five or six Avs players on the all-star or in the all-star game. And McKinnon probably has a point, I don't know, about five or six. Maybe I'd have to look through. But yeah, there definitely should be multiple Colorado Avalanche players. And as the all-star game could very well be dominated by a few teams, I just think that it wouldn't even really matter that I'm in support of there being multiple players from one team if they're good and that's the thing here that you know this is a talent thing and if a team's got the talent then they should be represented in the game not just one player for every team i get it you obviously want fan bases from every fan base to be interested but it is a problem it also should be really easy to change this rule anyway because the all-star game it is so far from being a consistent thing if you go back and you look at the rules over the course of its history, there are so many different aspects of it, and there are so many changes. It's not exactly like your fighting tradition. Heck, we don't even play 5-1-5 hockey, so yeah. Now, on the flip side of that, I do have to be honest and say that it really doesn't even matter in a way. And I know before some of you get mad, just hear me out. As shocking as it sounds, I know, this is crazy. All-star games, regardless of most leagues, don't mean a single thing because they aren't taken seriously by the players. Because in all honesty, it can just be one thing that they don't really care in a way. And it can be kind of boring, I have to be honest. Look at the Pro Bowl for the NFL. I don't know many people that would actually want to watch the Pro Bowl. Um, the All-Star Game for the NBA, It's a lot. Of, there's no defense. A lot of people just joke around with it. You can see them like, laughing, and it's fun that they're having fun. But truthfully, just like them, our All-Star situation is not do or die. It is not something that these players are out there trying to win. If they lose, it's no big deal to them. That's just the reality of it. Most of the time, I do think that a lot of this stems from players being afraid of getting injured, especially if you're an all-star, you're probably, not always, but you're probably on a better team, and you're able to, you know, be worried about the playoffs. Now, Jack Eichel, when he was in Buffalo, he wasn't worried about making the playoffs, um, but yeah, I think that this is a big thing, because for a lot of these players, they are not going to go all out in the all-star game when they have to be worried about getting hurt, missing the playoffs, they're more focused on the playoffs, which is totally fine, I totally get that, but that's why I don't see it being a big issue here, and it's just... Why would you play competitive hockey when you're more concerned about the bigger prize in the All-Star game? Again, it really doesn't matter. That being said, though, I will say, I do think better players should be in here if they want to play. I know Ovechkin missed it a few years ago. It might have been two years ago because he wanted to spend time with his family. He got a suspension for it, but that does happen where players don't want to. But there's no reason Nozim Kadri is not in here as he is in the running for possibly being snubbed and not even appearing even though he is fifth in the league for points, and there's definitely worse players getting to play this year. I'm not going to point him out. I'm not even going to say that they're bad players, but there are guys that don't belong here compared to other guys. And you think of, there are really some big names that aren't going to be able to make it this year because they're not going to get voted in with that wise man standing thing or whatever. And maybe if they were brought in and these better guys were there, the competition would get better. I don't know if I actually believe that, though. Uh, but, you know, it would be fun to see, let's say, Colorado had a bunch of guys, Tampa Bay had a bunch of guys. You would get to see a lot of team chemistry, and they'd already be prepared, and they'd be used to playing with each other. So you might get to see a better play because they are used to playing with each other. And it makes that something that I would really like to see as well because you would get the best of the best, maybe some chemistry. And trust me, that would be good because there wouldn't be any snubs. There might be a few snubs, but not like we see now. And it couldn't hurt ratings either. But to be honest with you, I can sleep either way at night really well knowing that I don't really care. I know a lot of people are really bothered by this, but again, it's not like these guys are out here laying the big hits. It's like, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, they're not going to really care. I think that it would be good 
for them to get into the All-Star if they deserve it. But again, nobody should be losing sleep over this. Do you think that the current All-Star format is a big problem? If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you don't, tell me why you don't think it's a big deal. Did I sway your opinion at all? Let me know down below. And before you sure go, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. You go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.